Okay, so we're going to be doing like a few hours of the life of the casual chess guy. And um, basically we're preparing for the over the ball tournament in a, about a month's time. And we have that target of one and a half um, for that tournament out of playing physically four games. We've taken a bye in the first round, so we're not classing that as anything. So four games. We're looking at either two draws or two draws, no, three draws, which would make it one and a half, or one win and a draw. So we're working towards building towards that sort of um, psychological aspect of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to be playing some games casually. And then we'll make our way in towards like the arenas in the, in the site and see how we get on there. And then also doing some pattern recognition training or puzzles or whatever it is that you want to call it. And that should be it. Let's play a 10 minute game. So you can play chess without playing, doing prep. When you're playing your friendly games or you're playing against club players or you're playing online you're not prepping you know you're just playing the game of chess so why all of a sudden when you're playing over the board you suddenly change character and you have to prep no we don't have to do that it takes too much pressure puts too much pressure on yourself to perform against something that really you have no control over you don't know how the opponent's going to play. I wouldn't even try and predict how they're going to play. So just basically play chess. Let's just capture here. Let's open up the rook. Let's get the knight up. Shall we? Interesting situation. Hmm, simple. Okay, let's... Queen, don't really like queen side classing and we're black, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> let's hit. Let's make it easier on ourselves. Let's take. <laughs> this is going to be a bit interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Let's take a moment, taking a breather. The queen is going to be hit. Might as well just do the preemptation. See, this is why I don't really like queen side castling with black. But we need to start our own pressure zone. Not ignoring where they're going. There's not much I can do about it. Probably here, sorry. If they forget themselves, obviously the knight can take. Go for a bit of gold. Like a checkmate type thing. Yeah, took the time with that, didn't they? Nice and steady approach. A little bit calculated. Rook's coming down to cause some trouble. 
don't know why it's taking so long really but yeah that's pretty obvious do, 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 do. Not much to do there, really, because pawn is just dropping.
Okay, so we're looking at consolidation of our current learning. Let's just bring the bishop here, supporting the knight and castle. I remember in the early days of me um, playing chess, I'd say to myself, if I'm moving a piece to attack a piece, you know, to threaten a piece, I've spent all that energy moving that piece to attack that piece. Why don't I just take it off the board when I get the opportunity? It worked well for a while. Yeah, but then I realized that sometimes you're creating a better position for the opponent. In this situation, I just feel like just taking the knight off the board. It looks simple enough. I mean, it's only the bishop here. It's got support from the queen. Then the knight can just jump here and attack it. It doesn't have to stay there. Oh, my gosh, and they've gone. And that's probably because we're just taking a little bit longer, just talking through the moves. But they took long with their moves. Well, shocking. Yeah, so I was plumping to actually take... I was just going back on the histor history as to why simple direct moves does work for me. I feel a bit more comfortable. But the downside is when you're whipping stuff off the board, sometimes you're weakening your area as well. So it's knowing when to take and when kind of not to take and keep that horrible tension thing. But in essence got to question why you would put yourself in a place a position where it's keeping tension sometimes it's for the betterment but some a lot of the times if you're not going to be advantageous in the move order of things it's best to just take the pieces off the board as soon as you can to improve the position Oh, this is not the same player, but they're taking a while, so I'm just going to go to somebody else. Must be that silly hour. Where there's nobody here and they're just using computers. Look, it's not a starting. Okay, let's take... Let's attack the queen. Let's develop the knight. Let's push the pawn up. There's no point blocking the queen, is the queen still got some play? Let's keep the bishop simple. So nothing much happening here really. Let's go and castle. You're tempting to jump here, but it's got nothing, it's not doing anything. It just feels like it's homely there, for some strange reason. I'm going to bring the queen off the back. Up to double. May as well do that, because there's nothing being given to anything. They've not overextended, they're just sitting on the back, doing a lot of dancing. Um, we will take this. Um, we're not into the dance situation. Alright, so let's have a look at positionally, just hitting the pawn, see if we can open things up. I know it does uh, totally isolate this pawn now, it's got no, never going to have a support, but it doesn't take, so it's keeping us, 
keeping us in the game. Bishop's just biting on some type of granite here. Head of the snake's always going to be taken anyway, isn't it? So we may as well just take it off the board. We may as well. I don't think that's a good position for their queen. Queen's coming greedy munching for the pawn, but... Looking for a little bit of um, attacking X-Rain. Okay, it's gone to a dark square where the bishop can come here. It's going for an exchange. Looks like one of those players that believes in the two bishops type situation. Makes me laugh. Let's attack their bishop. Yeah, didn't think they would take. They look like one of those players that thinks that that is the be all and end all of the game. Going to attack the rook, having the two bishops, that is. Got to be mindful if we do come here, once they come here, he takes, takes. This knight is protecting the pawn at the minute. So attacking our poor little bishop, which has done nothing to them, but we do have a higher piece that we can take off the board. And right, this pawn is going to be going. Trying to find if there's a better position for us. No, no. For the bishop. Okay, let's bring that back. Let's jump the bishop in here once this pawn's taken. It's not taking the pawn, but he's putting like a two on one onto here. So I'm going to hit the knight. Let's just take on this pawn twice. He's still going to be, oh, he's got the bishop for free, it looks like. So we're going to have to bring the rook back. Can't go here because the bishop's protecting. Could protect here, but he's on our rook. Oh, Jamali. Well, that happened a little bit swift. So we get to protect the pawn for a brief moment anyway. Oh, a very brief moment. Whew. Pressure. Let's go here. It's all happening a bit quick. This bishop's really got... Oh, what is going on? Just thinking, did they need to take that? I don't think they needed to take that. We can't come here and attack the pawn now because the damn bishop's in the way. Hmm. So the believer in the two bishops. Let's go here. I don't think they're going to be taking. Oh, they are taking. Oh, I thought they'd have been hot to the trot. Right, okay, so... His rook can come back to protect, can't it? Let's go here anyway. Or maybe he just attacks our pawn. Yeah, he's just attacking our pawn. He's going to get it past, isn't he? Well, he's going to get it down. Hmm. Interesting situation. Let's go here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, yeah. so let's move the bishop out the way, and then he's going to just corral this, corral this down. Move the king. Lose it one space. Let's attack. Has to push the pawn down. I don't know why they're taking so long. The obvious move is this. They don't want the pawn taken. Oh, crikey. Not doing what I'm saying. So we're going onto a white square. That's going onto a dark square, obviously. Takes, takes. Surprised at that. Doesn't mean we've won the game, then, obviously. That's what they're trying to say, isn't it? Mm 
See if we can box clever or something then. So my king doesn't need to be in here now, does it? I think this is one of these where I don't, I shouldn't have to do anything. And I just need to wait for the opponent to make a mistake. Bit slightly. Nice one. Let's block the pawn. Let's develop the knight. Support the pawn. Four knights. You have to be very careful with these simple babyish type openings. They can have a bit of a sting. If the opponent if the opponent's playing it cleverly. Let's castle. It's like sugar coated vomit, you know? Looks good on the outside, but can be a little bit messy on the inside. So this opening looks very simple, basic. There's nothing out there. I think it's the opportunity to be seen to actually take any advantages or create the advantages in this simple type of opening. Okay, as usual, just attacking the bishop. Normally just taking with the queen. If they're getting a bit arty, they're bringing the bishop over here. Yeah, getting a bit arty. So in my head, I'm thinking smallest of tempo losses in terms of developing their pieces. Positionally on the board, it is in front of our king area. Is it causing much damage? All depends on how proactive they are in actually trying to maintain this position. If they sit back and let us demolish their pieces, then sometimes that's not proactive. So they brought the queen off and basically they're looking for the queen to be, excuse me, queen to be in this position. It's going to be in front of our king area, looking to cause a bit of problems towards our king. Do we keep the tension? Well, We'll sit and wait and see. We're going to develop a piece, but then that's just going to get challenged. If we bring it back, then at least we're still keeping the x-ray through. Gives them something to think about. But the bishop can move and the pawn can hit the bishop. We will be able to get the bishop into this position. That's keeping the tension extreme. So we're going to go and keep the tension extreme because it's giving our king some company. We've been through that story. It's our story. Doesn't mean, might, doesn't mean it's right or doesn't even mean it's wrong. But that's our story. We've not had to prep it. Yeah, we're using our own psychology, playing our own game against whoever this person is that we're playing. We know nothing about them. So spending time prepping really does kill your own soul in the game. Queen's moved off of the X-ray, so we, we have given them something to think about. Knight could take, and this obviously then the Queen is not going to take because the Bishop's protecting. So the pawn's going to open up and it's going to open up the King. Do we have enough armory to be causing trouble? So the take, take, yeah, takes with the pawn. Bishop's not going to take because then we'll lose the bishop as well. So we will have got the knight. The pawn comes. It's going to be on the bishop. Bishop comes back a bit. They start panicking now that they've got 
an open space in front of the king, but their bishop is protecting. Our bishop's chomping at the bit to actually attack their bishop. But again, if we did take takes here, the rook is going to be on this area. So does that work for us? Do we still keep keeping the tension? Do we move the king out of the way? Just based on the experiences we've had, I think moving the king out of the way so we can start getting some activity going towards their king area. We are expecting this pawn to drop. We may just take the knight off the board with the bishop. Yeah, so they've gone for that. We can keep the keep the tension like we said, but that space that they've just created gives them space for their bishop to move and then the pawn can push onto the bishop. Luckily we do have this space here. But for now, I think we're going to just keep that tension and we're going to push this pawn onto their pawn. Not yet, because you have to move the bishop. <laughs> Getting carried away. I mentioned that before, didn't I? Doing, you do so many calculations and then you forget the whole reason why. And then you see something fresh or you go back to an old calculation and forget that you've got a piece under attack. So let's bring the bishop back. At this point, they're probably going to take, but we still do have the bishop protecting. We'll be attacking the queen. So the knight's in, wants to get rid of the bishop because we are defending this area quite nicely with the bishop. Don't really want to lose it, but he will take it off the ball, which is a shame. So the bishop at the minute is protecting the knight. Pawn's protecting the knight as well. He does have his knight and his queen on there. Bishop takes. I think that probably causes a bit of damage, doesn't it? Bishop taking the knight because the pawn takes. And at least it's open space in front of the king, even though the bishop is there. But then we just, we have a what have the queen, the bishop, sorry, being able to protect. So if we went with the knight, got to check on the king, so he has to do something about it. Pawn takes, then can we attack the bishop now? Bishop doesn't have to take, I don't think they will, I think they'll move here. And this knight's really powerful in the centre. Only thing could happen is this, but the queen is protecting the bishop, but nothing's attacking the bishop. Would we have time to do that? Attack the knight, see if he takes. He doesn't have to take. Hmm. Going to take the knight with the check on the king. Open up the king. Attack the bishop. It's a plan of sorts. Attack the bishop. Watch there be a move I have not seen. I've said they're just going to go back here. And then we're looking to attempt to attack the knight. But maybe the knight's going somewhere magical. Somewhere magical indeed. Didn't expect that at all. I'm going to take, I, I don't know what is the benefit to that, but we, we're going to find out, aren't we? That looked like a serious sacrifice of some planned thing. Takes, takes, 
queens in front of the king. So that's their plan. So attack their plan. Obviously, going all the way back, why are they taking long? <laughs> I don't understand. Or are they looking to bring the pawn back in line? Because if we did take, just brings the pawn back. Which seems probably more practical. No, they're not doing that. Eee, yeah, yeah, they're not doing anything we're saying. So we could go and attack their bishop. Attack the pawn. Something is probably just going to take the bishop. That looks better because it's got a check on the king. Supported by the bishop. I think they're not going to be wearing that it's too much. So we'll have to take the pawn. The pawn has dropped. No, I didn't even ex reckon on that, did we? We put the check on the king attacking the bishop. Is there anything different after this? There's no other attacks, is there? Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Strong takes. On the dark square, Queen's not really in the game. And his pawn's just about to be taking our. Let's take the bishop.
jump in on a 10 minute game here for now and then do a puzzle afterwards and wow that was quick let's bring the knight here supporting the pawn it's got two pieces attacking let's just support with the pawn let's develop the knight wants to get rid of one of them but it's not going to be taking any of them anyway so no problems doubling the pawn just develop the bishop and castle this might be one of those situations where I say not today because he wants the queen to come and attack the pawn well oh, and now they started flicking <laughs> so attacking the bishop spin the queen up supporting the bishop and I'm not sure what that was because we can take the queen off the board I think well I know what it was they were going for like the checkmate thing so they're going a little bit crazy now because that didn't take shape and they're just giving pieces up now so we'll just take and we'll just take as we know this is what they do when they've made a mistake and they just go crazy giving pieces up so we'll attack that pawn we'll take this pawn off all right so they're going real quick hoping we make a mistake but we don't really want to make a mistake let's just push through now towards their king let's look to exchange the rook let's take it off the board All right, so there's not much else that they can really do about this situation. So let's just bring the rook up. And let's just bring the queen here with the check. Bring the queen back. And let's take this pawn off the board and go for the checkmate. Okay, very special. Right, let's go and do some puzzle. Well, one puzzle. We might not be able to do any more. Right, so puzzle's showing okay. Find the best move for black. Does it show the level? Level from a game, a rapid game, 1500s. Best move for black. Well, the king is a little bit airy, isn't it? So the queen could put a check, but then it can just hide here. And they've got a checkmate threat. So the move has to be a meaty move, doesn't it? It has to be a check. Or do we just take a piece off the board? Mm, can't see it at this moment. That's the only check. That is a check. This can't come here because the pawn will take. There's no other checks anywhere, so check king can go here and it can go here. And if it goes there, queen's not got a way in, it's got no support. It's not coming down onto a white square, so it probably isn't that move, is it? So we might as well throw that one out of the equation because it's not got any any meat on the bones. We can't take here because there's no support. So it's none of them. So is it just this queen coming in here, attacking the rook and the queen? Not really because then the queen can come here and put a check on the king and then we lose the queen. So it's definitely not that. Knight move. The knight does have a check on the king. They've got a mate threat, so you know, really and truly. So the king has to move, but the king cannot move here. It can move here, and it can move there. So it's got options to where it's moving. The queen's blocked. I 
but hey, this is so simple and yet it I'm making it really difficult. I can't see it. It definitely is find the best move for black. So maybe it's not a check. Maybe it's removing a piece of the ball, but is it taking the rook? And somehow the knight gets the queen back. I don't really see it. Take. Queen just takes. No, it's not that. Hmm. Check. Here or here. You'd think he'd go there. Night check. Can come and attack the, um, the knight. But the knight is protected by the queen. I bet it's something like that, isn't it? Check. If they come here, then that's probably not good for them, but they can go backwards and forwards. Can't bring this queen here because the queen will take it. Hmm. It goes in here. Knight. Oh, knight would get the queen if he went there. Right, so we're starting to build a picture now. We're building a picture, so it's this. It's definitely not going there because the knight will go here, so that's out of the equation. So it's kind of forced to go here. So then, what has the magic knight still got? Oh, he still gets the queen anyway. It all... There we go. And then just bang. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Nice one. Okay. So we're going to play a, another game. Okay, I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. Just to expand the brain a bit. 20 minute zero increment game we'll go for. As we've seen, they don't really last that long anyway. Just hit the pawn in the center. Let's take the pawn. Let's take the knight. Let's bring the queen out. All right, so very tasty. He's angling for this pawn here. So I think I'm going to actually develop the knight. I'm going to hit the queen with this bishop. It's got a two on one there. Knight's currently protecting, so it's not going to do that at the moment. So do we need to move the bishop out of the way? Because the pawn's going to hit it, or do we have time to develop the bishop? And then bring the bishop back if it's getting hit with the pawn. It's getting rid of the piece that is supporting, so I think we need to move the bishop. And just bring it here, supporting the pawn. So they'll double the pawns, feeling good. Not doing that just yet. And we can bring the bishop back. I'm going to take the knight. Options are doubling the pawn if the queen takes. No, they're not interested in that. Let's go here. Mm, they're wanting to keep their queen on the board. Let's bring the bishop and save the bishop or not. No, let's castle, supporting the rook. And let's just hit the queen. And hit the queen again, so it escapes, goes to here. Mm. Trying to not really going for this because it just moves out of the way, then the rook comes and starts hitting the queen. So I'm just um staying away from that for a few minutes. For a few minutes. I'm interested in this one with the bishop having the diagonal, but I don't think we're gonna have time to do it. 
So I'm going to just bring the rook here. They will move the king because that's the threat area. King's a little bit open. But let's not chase fog. So that's got to open up to stop the queen from coming here. We can still just go here. Yeah. So we'll go here anyway. It's going for the exchange. And there's not too much of a problem. We, maybe we don't need to. We can go here, but it's just going to chase us around anyway. So we may as well do that. Happy as Larry, so this pawn is being doubly attacked and we're going to have to change the trajectory of the game now. Let's bring the bishop here. Looking to slide in here, but obviously he's just going to drop there like that. Also got x-ray through to the king, stopping this pawn from moving. We want to be moving these rooks to a better place. So he's stopping that already, which gives us time to do the rook move, attacking their pawn. They're moving quickly. Could we do a rook rover to come across? Yep, yeah, let's bring the rook over. Got two rooks in the center of the board. I feel it's to my benefit. I'm going to try and swing this one around. Trap the bishop, but we get a check on the king, so that's a little bit of compensation there. So he's wanting to protect this pawn. Bring the bishop here. Maybe start doing some of this. Get this rook around. Bishop's looking to get into the game. We're wanting to bring the rook around anyway, so that's okay. Swing across, attack the pawn. Things to be done. Attack the bishop. Many options. It's got the pawn here. I think they would. Oh, I thought they would have gone greedy, wouldn't you? Let's attack the bishop. It's got a pawn. If we take, save the pawn for a bit, but then he's got two pawns attacking this pawn. So they're creating something. Why is it showing they've left the game? I mean, there's thing, <clears throat> things to be done. Their rooks are linked up, so they're probably in a better state than what our rooks are at the minute. We will take a look at the analysis if they don't come back on. Okay, quick look. Yeah, minus 0 0.6. So they, there's activity. You know, their their rooks are linked up. We're, we're having to dance around with our rooks a little bit. You know, to try and get some sort of improvements. I mean, they've got pawn take, got take here. They've got center pawns, you know, cluster of pawns in the center. So it's more, more to their benefit. But anyway, they didn't finish the game. So, hey, what can you do? Let's go into another another puzzle. Right, what's this one? This is a rapid game, 1800s. 
and find the best best move for white so let's tell ourselves the story again you might not see it straight away keep telling the story and hopefully find the pattern that they are talking about and the best move for white so you're instantly drawn to this but the bishop can take and you can do this but the bishop can take you can do this with the queen that puts a nice check on the king nothing can take the queen so the queen has got options of going here If it went there though, the queen would be able to come here and that would be checkmate. That looks very simple. Sometimes though, when you're looking at these higher rated games, you think that they're going to try and find some fancy manoeuvre that, you know, is like come from the planet Zarg or whatever. But that looks doable. But it's also whether they did this, they could have done another check move. So I have to look for the move that is properly nailed on. Because when I'm challenging these puzzles, when I've done my own version, and there's been nothing wrong with the way I've done it, it does get a checkmate eventually. But the system seems to find a more nailed on version. So this looks nailed on to me. Queen puts a check on here. Oh, but the bishop can come in front, but then we can just go here and then that's definitely checkmate. So I think the queen is just coming here like this. Oh, and the bishop has come there. So we just take, don't we? Yeah, there's nothing that's going to be in the way of it, is it? Yeah, okay, that was very sim a simple one for 1800, but hey, that's the patterns. Okay, and we'll go in and play another game. Okay, this time I'll bring it down a bit. Go for a 15 minute game. I'm going to put some increment on. Five seconds. And hopefully we'll get black this time. Oh, they're giving us white again. Yeah, I'm going to have to select black next time, the Nanta, because they don't seem to be giving me... Um, black in the whatever choices you want to make type thing ooh, ooh, before you do that crikey so we'll bring the bish back in the pawn <laughs> so never 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 but it looks really strange that we could still potentially go for this pushes down still go for the attacking the rook because that's their pawn isn't it i'm going to go for it bishop's protecting attacking oh and the knight gets in the game so i feel like i've wasted a move then going to castle If we have the time, get the knight up, attacking the queen. Sure, they're not going to afford us that time. We're going to have to jump back. Or we attack the queen with it this way. Oh, no, we can't. Sorry, it's not there, is it? <laughs> Yes, they have gone with the pawn, so we're going to have to come back, make sure that we do. No captures there, yeah. Not taking this, opens up all, all the glory for them. And it's just seeing off every piece that we've got in that initial attack. 
I might keep the bishop here just because of the stopping the king side castling. So they'll probably go queen side castling. Doesn't like our bishop at all, so we're going to take. It's the bishop. It's definitely can't go queenside castling just yet because the queen's blocking that way. But he can go kingside castling if he wanted to. Let's just move the queen out of the way. Simple potatoes. Now it's looking to get out. I can tell it. I can feel it in my water. Now it's attacking the bishop. If we take the queen takes, gonna have to push the pawn or oh, push this pawn if they forget themselves we take with the queen. It's taken with the pawn though. Hmm. We've got a bit of a check on the king. I'm gonna take gonna take the queen. Don't want to dance really. Alright, let's develop the knight, but then the uh, the bishop comes and x-rays through. Okay, let's do that. Bishop comes through. Get the knight cross. Look to try and challenge the rook. It's not doing that. Ah, uh, very interesting. So if we go here like this and then we go for the rook exchange and we move the rook, he's got two pieces on there. Let's see what they want to do. Are they going for the knight and the bishop for a rook? The fried liver. They're thinking about it, obviously, that's why they're taking a bit of time. And they've gone for it. Let's take. Let's take. And we could attack their rook and have the two knights against their two rook, well, their rook. I think that might be okay because we're night people. Let's go for it. Okay, there we go. So we have two pieces against their one piece. So that has to be an advantage. And they've moved that pawn dead quick. I don't think they've put much thought into that. So I'm actually just going to bring the king across just to try and manage the Rook coming down here. Yeah, so they're just doing pawn maneuvers at the minute. I think what we'll do is push this pawn here and then get the knight behind it. And the king's getting involved, so let's push the pawn up again. All right, let's support with the knight. So this rook's going to be overworked, which is good because we have another piece on the board, don't we? I'm going to push this pawn. King's not coming in anywhere here. So they're going to have to try and dis disrupt some of these pawns somehow, even probably hitting this pawn here. They've got options. That one's nice because we get a check on the king. And let's take. So we can come around here and come here with the knight. That's an annoying position, I believe. Their rook's probably looking to come round the back and try and take this pawn. The power of the knights versus the rook. Interesting game. And let's just get the knight here. It's immovable unless he sacrifices the rook. Alright, nice position for a check on the king. Like we said, it's always coming down here. Knight's protecting. But maybe their idea is if they get to here. Obviously, I'm going to move my king 
Yep. I am eyeing this up, but he can come and attack, so then we, we lose the movement then. Is there anything else with this knight? Nope. So we move the king across, and then he still manages to come down here, or even put a check on the king. So we move up. The knight is protecting the pawn, so we don't even need to do that. So I think his idea is his rook's coming here to try and attack the knight. Yeah, so I can just move the king up. Just move the king up, and if they're coming down, we know why they're coming. They're coming for the knight. Then we can just sit here with the king. And that's what they're doing. Right, so we can put a check on the king, just to let him know that we're still in the game. Obviously comes there. Yeah, just bring the knight back around. Comes for the knight, attack the rook. So most of the pieces are defended. This one well, is attacking the king. That one's not protected, that one's not protected. But the rook has to come here to get taken off the board if he's going to attack them. The knight is protecting the pawn, so we don't need to worry about any of that. If he puts a check on the king, we're just safe as houses. So, in essence, it could be just a draw. Yeah. So, if I go moving around again, he just comes and attacks. So, we could just move the king here. And then he comes with the check. Knight, knight does have a check on the king. So, let's just move here. As we said, knight's protecting the pawn. So, the knight... The rook is almost trapping itself, so it's going to have to come down. Yeah, which it does. We do have a check on their king. Going to put the check on. Attacking the pawn at the same time. Got to be mindful because now this pawn hasn't got any protection on. So if we did grab this pawn, yep, then the rook would be able to take with a check and then it's on our knight. So that's where the draw really probably is going to come in. I don't think we want to give don't want to give them a quarter when we don't need to. They'll have to do something else in order on in order to disturb our position. Okay, so just going it's gonna go backwards and forwards in team. Or like I said, there's that sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice in the rook. For the knight, so rook takes, pawn takes. Might be a bit crazy doing that, but we'll see if they do it. Plenty of time. Attacking the knight, knight's got no protection, which is the king, so there, so they're just going to keep going backwards and forwards. So it might, I think the system will flash up a draw in a few moves, or maybe the next move it will just flash up a draw. So it's not attacking this pawn, but if we came here and then he goes up actually goes up then we take then he takes and then he's got the passer so there's no point in doing that at all let's just attack the rook looks like he's going out he's had enough Let's put the check on. Next two moves, it's going to go draw. Let's put the check on, and as we say, we can just go here. Let's 
going back around again, go for the check on the king. And there you have it. Two knights versus the rook. Happy with that. There we go, threefold. That will do for me. Go on to a puzzle now. Okay, this will be the last puzzle, last session for this bit, and then we'll uh, go in and into the arena. Oh, I've pressed game. Don't want to play a game. Just play the game. Puzzle, what this one? 1600s, this is. A 10 minute rapid game. Find the best move for white. There's a check on the king here. It's attacking the rook, but the queen is defending. Rook takes the queen, rook check. How do you do that first? Interesting. So, if you put the check on first, king has to move or, yeah, wherever it goes. Yeah, he still gets the check on the king with the rook. But maybe it's not that. Although that just that looks pretty straightforward there, doesn't it? Queen check. We are getting a higher piece off the board. But the problem with that is, right, let's look at this. The rook can take the queen off the board, which is a higher piece. And then they can also take that, that part, our queen off. Whereas if we put the check on first, then we save our queen. But they lose their queen. Yes, they've got the check on the king, but the king can just move and defend itself. So that is what it is. Saving the queen and then taking their queen off the board. Yeah. It's still carrying on. Dude, well, king just moves here and attacks the rook. Sorted. Nice one. So that's a nice little bit of warm-up exercises, playing some games, doing some puzzles. And so we're going to go in onto the arena and just um, see how we can get on with our performance prediction of one and a half out of four games. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to join the under-1700 uh, rapid arena. Starts in six minutes. Hopefully we'll join in time. I'm just going to take a little mini break. Okay, in readiness. Nice one. Okay, so the arena started. So our target is one and a half out of four games in preparation for the over the board tournament in more or less a month's time. So we're just getting the practice in. So one and a half out of four games. If we get four games here, we might not even get any. It's not even starting. But yeah, let's see how we do. I've jot them down as we're going. So that's one, two, three, four. Fingers crossed. We get some half decent. Let's see anyway. Let's see. There'll be monsters in these arenas. Oh no, I'm not practicing that. I'm practicing that one. Oh, I've lost against this player already. So I don't think there's going to be much hope here, is there? Let's push this pawn. Let's just bring the bishop out. It's castle. Don't need to move this fast, really. And this white square bishop is not doing much, is it? That's such a bad bishop. It's it's terrible. Let's get the knight up. Let's get the bishop. And let's attack the bishop again. Where is he going? Shall we take and take? Oh, not that, not that. I thought that was a bishop. <laughs> it's not a bishop, is it? There we go. Let's bring the knight back. 
It's just closing everything down. Shall we attack this knight? I don't think they're going to take though. I think they're going to just run back again. Oh, they have taken. Oh, this useless bishop. Dear me, it's so bad, it's unreal. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go for a bit of a non move looking thing. And we really want him to focus on this, but we can't do anything. Could bring the bishop here to see if we can. Give the king some company as well. We might not get four games, might because it's only 50 minutes. So he's pushing down. Gonna hit the pawn like we planned. Opens the white square bishop a bit. It's like, ah, oh, I can breathe for a second. They're challenging. Does take. So we do have an x ray through to their rook, but I think we're going to get hit. All right, we can take the knight off the board and not mess about, but this is our good bishop. So we'll be left with a terrible, bad bishop. Options and choices. I don't think I want to keep pieces on the ball. Keep it simple, direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically. And let's just attack the rook because it's got no protection at the moment. Just common sense stuff for now. Queen's exchanging. Okay, exchanges. And our bad bishop. Might as well just keep it as a pawn. I mean, their bishop's good because... But it is bishops of the same colour. So we could look to attack the bishop because it's got no protection. Common sense stuff again. I think he'll just come here. And then I'll be doubling the rooks. So if he does go there, then we might as well bring the rook here. Okay, he's not doing that, so we may as well bring the rook here. Although, there is method in the madness. If we go here, and the bishop attacks the bishop, oh, but it gets back ranked. So I bring the rook here, ready to try and double. And he's seeing this, that's no problem. Rook's gone back defending. Could bring the bishop into the game a little bit. I'm just bringing the bishop here. And he's brought it. So it's going to be... Potential draw land. Could attack the bishop, but it does separate. Uh, there's no in, is there really? Shall we just push the pawn onto a dark square? Just waiting for this pawn to drop really onto the bishop. Let's bring the king up. Hmm, it looks like he's got something sewn up, doesn't he? Shall we bring our bishop here? Not that it's doing anything, but gives us moves. It's coming down to attack the damn pawn. Silly me. Let's hit the bishop.
Let's push. We don't really want to be pushing there because he wants to bring the bishop here, attacking the pawn. He's blocked himself, so we can just attack the king. Our bishop can't sit here because this is just going to block it. So we can go up and down with the bishop. Come around. There's nothing doing here at all. I don't think, anyway. Unless there's some magic down here with his king supporting. Don't really like their bishop. Push and then lock in. No. Where's he going? Oh, could have attacked this pawn. Probably too late to the party now. So it's tacking, tacking, opening up, maybe. Um, it's just some river man not getting. So tuck this pawn. Take, take, or just keep them on dark squares. Just going to take, they're still on dark squares anyway. Bait the pawn. But we can take it on this occasion. Oh, his bishop's got this, but, oh, yeah, he can come here. Oh. But he's pushing the pawn down. I can't get any of his pawns. Up, oh. down, down. He can come down here. And we're going round. His king's not coming round here. Could hit his bishop with the pawn. the bishop with the pawn if we take the bishop off the ball oh we have to do something with the bishop we kind of well we don't really we could go here then the king's on the pawn but are we getting zugzwang no we've got pawn movement haven't we so i don't know i think i'm gonna make myself out of time aren't i his king can come down and get the pawn Something doesn't feel right, you know. Let's push this pawn. Don't think he's going to take now, is he? He's going to bring it down here. Tack in. No, I'm running out of moves. Oh, the idea was for my king to be, if he takes, then going into this space. But now I can't. I can't do that. Oh, I've zugzwanged myself. That's annoying. That is annoying. I shouldn't have done that poor move, maybe. I don't think I should have done. But I didn't have anything else to do. Yeah, now I'm not getting the square. Look, he's got my... Po oh, I could cry. Oh, right. Damn it. Oh, that's terrible. I can't do anything. Unbelievable. That wrong pawn move there. Oh. Oh, I should just resign. This is terrible. Yeah, we'll resign that one. So that's one loss. Let's get back into the tournament so we can try and claw something back. So the target is one and a half out of four. So basically we've got to get a draw in the ne next three or a win and two draws. That's pressure. Ooh, we might have to change that um, prediction.
Right. Come on. No more silly moves now. Let's go. Nice, basic, simple chess. Let's attack the pawn. Let's just support the pawn with the knight. Let's bring the bishop out. This castle, some would say it probably could have taken, but it's a poison pawn in my eyes. Let's open the dark square bishop and x ray through to the queen. Mm -hmm. Let's shall we hit the bishop, see what it's doing? Oh, it's hitting ours. Shall we take, take? Could have taken the pawn again. I'm going too fast, dude. <laughs> oh, missed opportunity. Going too fast. That was my pawn. He's taken our pawn, the one we were supposed to take. Oh, I give up. I don't think this is a good session for us today. Oh, shocking. Shocking, shocking. Oh. Oh, why did I move so fast? I got plenty of time. Ah, nothing to do, nothing to do. We have to hope that they make a mistake of some sort now with the position. They are plus one. Small miscalculations to move physically too fast then. An ample opportunity to just do it right. It's getting pawns all over the place. Or check on. I think I'm going for a, trying to go for a cheap draw. But they're going to see right through it. Yeah, seeing right through it, aren't they? Ah, try to go for a cheap draw, just capturing and check, 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 check. Anything else? Yeah, nothing else, is there? Nothing else. Gets a check on my king. But it's going to hurt because this knight's just flying here. Oh. Oh. Sickening, sickening. Yeah, we can't fly there, the queen's protecting what comes here. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, big times. And I've had my warm up matches as well. Cannot believe that I've played like this. Shocking. Don't think we're going to do too well in this um, tournament then, playing like this. Mm -mm -mm. That's bad. That's real bad. I can't see any way out of this. I'm going to get, look at that. Look at that discovered. Look at that. The, the bishop. I can't do anything. Okay. Well, that's two losses. Right, so this might be a more realistic thing. Yeah, for the tournament. All right, let's go back into the arena. Let's bring it back down to earth. Yep. So I was saying to myself, I think one and a half is a little bit too extreme, really. We did the exercise and we played the games on the strongest site in the world. And we ended up having like, was it one and a half out of it or something or the other? Well, no, we actually, we actually won three games. So we thought, well, that's not realistic. So we brought it down to half of that, which was one and a half. And even then, I'm still thinking that's still a bit high. Our original one for the last tournament was like just two draws, one win or two draws. And that seems a little bit more realistic. Because we've not been in the mid, we've only done one major tournament. This one's in the under 1700. There's only two sections. So I'm still classing this as like the majors for me. So I don't know, I don't know. So we do have two games left and out of these if we get a win and if we get a draw then we've hit the target haven't we let's focus as you can see the rating levels have dropped for the opponents but that doesn't really make a difference i was playing a what is it a thousand player just then and I totally fluffed that game. It doesn't make a difference, the ratings that you see on here. So let's attack the Knights. Hopefully they play like a seven, 700, then we might get a win. <laughs> let's attack the King. Not to attack the queen, but they won't be having any of that. But we can take that pawn if it does come down. So the skill levels of the people in the tournament, over the board tournaments, they will vary as well. I think I'll be one of the lower ones, as usual. So attack the queen. Let's take the queen off the board. Okay, bishop, not really. It's got spaces that it can move, so maybe opening up this bishop. Block blocking castling, maybe. Three piece, yes, 
just take. Castle. See if there's a two on one we can put on this pawn. If we're allowed to, because this probably is going to see the bishop off. Maybe keep the diagonal. Oh, the rook can't come here now. So if we see the bishop off to allow us to be able to come here, but he's probably looking to queenside castle. So it negates all of this pressure we're looking to put on this pawn. We may need to... Okay, they've not done that. So shall we just bring the rook here like we planned? King can always help. Bring the bishop. Okay. Oh. Attacking the pawn, bishop's going to be attacking the bishop. with the rook as planned if I've got the other rook into the game we are a minor piece up but as we know just because you've got more pieces doesn't mean you've won the game got to get them working together to try and get some type of better position Unlike in the last two games, shocking. King does come down. Okay. So we can attack the pawns. One, two. He takes, takes. Let's bring the rook down. But oh, we can't take this one. Don't forget, the bishop's here. Wake up. They could just support. He's not doing that, he's bringing the king down. We get a check on the king, so the rook could go anywhere really. Could probably just go and get his rook off the board. That looks feasible, doesn't it? So we've got a check on the king. Is it trapped my rook up? No, maybe not. Let's we'll take. So now we've got a pin through to their rook. So they're probably looking to do this and this. Captures, I think we can simply capture. Trying to get this rook into the game as well. I mean, there is capture of these, but I think this is better just keeping that pressure on their rook.
and they've left the game. So we'll clear the picture on that. So we'll put that down. That's a, a win. So that's one. So we just need to get a draw in the next game. Fingers crossed, and then we will have hit the target. Come on. All we need is a draw. Don't need to do anything fancy, just go for a draw. It's 27 minutes left of the game. This is our last one. We need a draw. Let's just push. Let's develop the knight supporting the pawn. Let's just bring the bishop here to stop any fried stuff. Develop the knight for castling. Castle. Open the white square bishop. Let's get the bishop in. Take the knight, put the pawn there. Take the knight with the bishop. Pawn takes. Attack the knight. Pawn takes. It's a move order. It's a move order. Let's push this pawn. And just hit the bishop. Let's bring the queen here. Okay, so keeping the tension. We're not a fan of keeping the tension, but we are going for a draw maximum. So I'm willing to keep the tension. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Push the pawn. There might be one of them that goes, I'm going to open you up. Okay. This is where we could potentially get a draw, but that damn knight is there. Takes, takes, queen takes. Don't want to risk it for a biscuit, really. If the knight wasn't there, I probably would have done, but for some strange reason, it blocks it. There, takes, queen takes. It doesn't want our queen coming here, so he'll move the knight, and the queen's protecting that square. No, no let's just play safe. So... We can take the knight with the bishop. Takes, he's on our knight. I'm just going in and attacking the knight. There's too much, so much tension I can take. Give space for the smaller piece attacking the knight here. Just need to get things going now. I know I want to draw, but with this stuff here, it could end up being to their advantage. I'm going to take the knight off the board. And then attack their knight with the smaller piece. And just capture when he takes the bishop. He's not taking the bishop, he's attacking our queen and the rook, piece for a piece. Don't lose any sleep over it. Piece for a piece. Let's 
So he's got two flat rooks in a locked down type of position. So for the brief moment, I think the advantage is ours. He's going for the cheap thing. Move the king. <laughs> Focusing on draw. If they make big mistakes, then get an advantage. But let's just see if we can hold them off. In the eyes of the game, they're winning because, you know, they've got, they're up the exchange. All I can see is them trying to open up the king area with this pawn type pushing things. We have the smaller piece attacking the higher piece situation. I'm going to go with the smaller piece attacking the higher piece. It's just, let's have a look. Do we have any support for it? I suppose the pawn can support. Any other attacks? Let's just do that for now. This rook's gone opposite our queen, waiting for it all to kick off. So we're going to have to move the queen. Yeah, so they've gone and attacked the knight. So can we go and support, like we said, with the pawn? And then they're going to hit the knight. We bring the knight back or bring it here. Probably looks better here because then at least we've got the bishop getting into the game. And we have to think, what are they attacking down here now? Stuff going on. Queen's protecting that area. Queen's going, so it looks like he's really going for this or supporting something coming down here oops move the queen off there away from crying eyes yes they're going for it so do we go for the box shape The box being here. Alright, so they're getting the rook. So it could bring our rook. Catches. It's going to be a take fest now. This pawn's got no protection. Could even look to double up with his queen on the pawn. So I've got to be careful. Bishop's coming out, he's hitting this type of thing. We could just push on to the bishop just to elevate the pawn even more because it looks like they're getting a strong hold. I'm going to push on to the bishop. Making space for our white square bishop and taking here and still not draw landish because the queen is there. 
Yeah, so if we did take and they, they did take, queen takes, this queen's just going to come in front and we'll be down a minor piece for nothing really. Could be talking myself out of something good there. Come on, takes, takes, queen here, queen comes to defend. Queen takes, king takes. No, it's too much, it's too much. Too much. Rook takes. Knight, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Bishop. Bishop. The bishop's not doing anything at the minute, but they do have a dark square bishop looking to cause trouble. Does have a check on the king, but we don't have anything supporting. Why has it come down here? Question, question, question. Get the rook off the board. Equalize the rook situation. Now we can maybe take. Oh no, we can't because the queen's supporting. Oh. Close, but no cigar. This pawn's got no protection. That's probably why he's blocking this pawn from coming here. Interesting situation. Attack the bishop. He comes back and attacks the rook. Yep. Yeah. Let's attack the bishop. He's not going for a draw, so he's probably bringing himself back here. Attack the bishop. Attack the bishop. Oh, he's not going for the damn draw. It's all I wanted, a draw. Put a check on the king. And we can protect the bishop, because really if we do take, he takes, then he's on our pawn. Okay, so we take with the check and just support the bishop. support the pawn as best possible I don't think we can forever because he's going to hit us all over the place uh, oh no 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 what's this about we see if we're going this way if we go this way his pawn can drop imagine we can put a check on his king can't we Why didn't he just go for a draw? Hey, what's the difficulty with going for a draw? Do we keep this diagonal because of the pawn? But then his king's coming down. Oh man. Come here. He takes, we take. Supporting the pawn with the rook for now. I'm not sure doing that's going to work. So he must be doing something like this or something. Or even hitting this. But if he does, we can take that pawn. But then he takes, takes. Time-wise, we're below time, so we're going to have to just speed up now because they obviously don't want to draw. No, they don't. They're 
come in and attacking. Ooh, so if we went like this, bishop takes, pawn takes, and he's got a passer, and then we lose that pawn as well. This is not good. Let's push. It says anyway. Rook's going to be down, attacking the bishop. Oh, no. We've got to move the king. Discovered check. With the bishop. Can't do that. Oh, this is not going good, is it? Bishop's going to put a two on one on the pawn. Bishop's going to put a two on one. We can't even move. We can get the rook off the board. Hmm, okay. Okay. It's one of them games I'm winning and I don't want to lose any advantage. I'm looking for a draw. I could actually just offer the draw, couldn't I now? And I'm sure they would accept. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, there's justice in the chess world. Fantastic after all of that. Oh, shabby, shabby times. So we got two wins and two losses. And we saw we surpassed the actual prediction from a very shaky start from the first two losses. Absolutely terrible losses that really shouldn't have been losses and then obviously so okay looks like we're sticking with the one and a half i still think it's very ambitious but um i suppose pressure is what we need for trying to just give a lot more enjoyment in the games sometimes it doesn't feel like enjoyment though when you're playing garbage games like what we played 
and so you know all in all it's not too bad that's a good result happy Oof.